Try it, try against the size. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. And I say, it's all right. Little darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter. A little darling, it feels like years since it's been here. It has been two weeks now with the Galaxy Z Flip 6. And if I'm being honest, I wasn't prepared for a flip phone to be this good or this much fun. Hey, my name is Pete and I used to run an IT company and now I review the latest and greatest tech for a living because, well, basically I love shiny new tech. And secondly, what an incredible job this is. This is just like, I love them. <laughs> I love YouTube. You know, Every year we get to see what Samsung's been up to over the previous year with updating their lineup of you know, flips and folds. But this year, I really think the Flip 6 has finally been given most of the upgrades that many of us were hoping for. Not all of them, but most. So today and over the past few weeks, I've been using the Flip 6 exclusively to see what it's actually like to use day to day and how it holds up to the likes of the S24 series. Oh, and I've also been wearing the Galaxy Ring and the Galaxy Watch Ultra, so I'll touch on both of those two in this video. So this year, the design is pretty much the same as last year's design, with the exception of those two coloured rings around the cameras. It's surprisingly comfortable to hold when you unfold it, and even when it's folded, it's just this like super compact but still solid and comfortable device to hold in the palm of your hands. Now one thing I would say here is that I like the rounded edges here when you're holding the folded phone, it's really really comfortable to hold, so I really hope they don't go for this like sharp edge design next time because I just think that would ruin things for me quite a bit with this phone. Now the hinge is also impressively, like continually impressive. Same as last year, I'm just really, really shocked that even if I try, I just can't trap like my skin or my hair in the hinge of this device. It's really, really quite a uh, technological marvel, I would say. It's also a really strong hinge. You can basically fold it to basically any angle you wish and it still gives you that satisfying snap when you close it or you know, even hang up on a call. It's, it's just, fun. Also, something new for this year, unless I was doing something wrong on the Flip 5 last year, the fingerprint sensor on the side now works in both orientations. So if you've got the phone open and with the phone closed. So if you are then enrolling your fingerprint with the phone open and then you close the phone, technically your fingerprint's now upside down. So now there is no issues with having that same fingerprint that you have to, you know, previously I had to register it twice. So that's been pretty great. Now, the only issue with the design here is that due to the design of the phone, those buttons when you open the phone up can be quite high, especially the volume. It's really kind of out of reach up here. So I would love to see them move or potentially look at moving those volume buttons just to the other side of the phone up here so it's a lot easier to reach. But as far as the spec changes go this year, most of them you can't actually see. But I feel they are a much bigger upgrade than we got on say the Z Fold 6 this year or Z Fold 6, however you call it. Now on the Flip 6, there are two key features I would say here. Now number one is the 50 megapixel camera upgrade over last year's 12 megapixel camera, which just makes like zooming in to snap photos so much better. And we're gonna have some more camera samples from from that camera in just a moment. And number two is a 4,000 milliamp hour battery upgrade from last year's uh, 3,700 milliamp hour battery. Now on top of those, there's also the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy chip, uh, an upgraded 12 gig of memory, uh, a nearly 1,000 nit brighter in a display, which makes a big, big difference. And an IP48 rating over last year's IPX8, which basically means it has a better level of uh, dust protection than the Flip 5 did. And for all of those changes, the Flip 6 is now also 100 pounds more expensive than the Flip 5. Now the front screen itself hasn't been updated this year. It's still a 60 hertz, a 1600 nit display, which offers, you know, very convenient access to notifications, your calendar, and a few like at a glance widgets. And it can still run a fairly limited number of Samsung approved apps. But you can customize this a little more with Goodlock, which is kind of like Samsung's treasure trove of customization apps across, well, pretty much any Samsung phone, really. Now, one of those is called Launcher, which allows you to add any app to the front display. Now, they're not designed specifically for the front display. It basically just launches them full screen and the full app on that front display. But most of them work pretty well still for just, you know, at a glance checking of information. And it also offers a very quick and convenient way to take selfies or, you know, quick videos without having to open up the whole phone to take those videos and photos. 
But I found myself using this phone open more than I have closed. Like after all, why have this like beautifully large, bright, colorful display if you're not gonna use it? And it works just great. It's bright, plenty easy enough to see even in the brightest conditions. That like extra 1000 nit peak brightness on the inside screen from last year's model really, really made a difference to me over the past few days where we continue to have incredibly warm and sunny days here in the UK. Even when taking photos, being able to see them in direct sunlight was really, really great. And I love that once folded, it's just so easily pocketable. Even if you're like a woman who have you know jeans with apparently non-existent pockets in them, it will still just, just about fit. And if you're a guy that has pockets big enough to fit like a mini freaking tablet in them, like most of our kind of jeans pockets are, then the good news here is that the small square shape doesn't stick out of your pocket and so doesn't fall out of your pocket when, you know, climbing into a car like my S24 Ultra or even iPhone does from time to time. Now, in terms of performance, this phone hasn't slowed down on me. It's not laggy whatsoever. I've had no issues at all with this phone. Honestly, this Flip is feeling more and more like a flagship S24 Ultra or, or perhaps more the, the regular S24 due to the cameras, but that folds. And this is where I think Samsung have really nailed the updates on the Flip 6 this year. Like all of the updates they made have been simply improving on a design they already know, already works, and is already loved by so many people already. They've basically taken everything from the Flip 5, and it feels like they've actually like listened to their users this time because the battery life on this phone, both from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy, combined with the bigger battery, and even the improved vapor chambering cooling system, all of it just makes for a flagship level foldable in terms of its performance. Now the software experience, also really good. As with you know any Samsung phone, One UI works flawlessly if you're a fan of One UI, of course. Multitasking is there if you need it. Similarly with all the you know AI features, if you want them, they are there, of course. You've got you know circle to search, all of the image tools, translation. But I think the most useful feature so far, at least for me, is the AI chat assist, which will then read through like your previous messages to that contact and then suggest replies to their messages, which is kind of quite cool. But I think the biggest thing that surprised me about this phone this year, this tiny little phone here, was the camera. Like unlike last year with its single 12 megapixel camera, this year's 50 megapixel camera makes all of the difference. And it's taken this phone from something with a, like a lacking camera to one that's actually very, very capable. It's able to capture beautiful shots, both ultra wide and main camera shots. And because it has that upgraded 50 megapixel sensor, can also shoot some pretty beautiful two times portrait photos. But not just photos, I would say. With the right conditions, it also captures fantastic videos. Now sure, if you put it side by side with a S24 Ultra or compare the video with an iPhone, the shots may not look as good. And I do miss having the zoom lens on this phone, but honestly, the most important thing about having a camera on a phone is that you are able to reliably capture those memorable moments and you know, be able to relive them at some point. And this is true, about 98% of the time with the Flip 6. Like the other the other 2%, it just seems to focus on anything but the subject it should be focusing on. But um, I don't know how the saying goes, but 98% of the time, it works every time. And the bonus here, of course, with the Flip is that because the phone folds, it can be its own tripod in almost any situation. And when combined with the you know new Galaxy Watch or the Galaxy Ring, can be really convenient to snap group photos without that like mad dash back when using a you know more traditional timer set on your camera. Now, the only issue I've found with, you know, said watch or ring is that I found it has been misfiring. And this is especially apparent when shooting videos, like which sometimes will just randomly stop because it thought, you know, I tapped my finger twice. I think the only real awkwardness on the Z Flip 6 is that the NFC chip for contactless payments is located on the bottom of the phone. So if you have your you know phone opened up and you go to pay for something, you kind of have to turn it around and then present the bottom of your phone to the cashier, which is a bit strange. But honestly, if you fold your phone up, it works just fine folded, no problems with that. And if you have any uh, like upright wireless chargers, then you'll need to invest in some flat stands instead because it just won't fit the charging stand because it will slide down too far. But outside of the tech specs and you know actually using the device, the other thing that sets Samsung apart from well many others are some of the incredible discounts they offer when picking one up from you know, trading deals to discounts on headphones and watches. Even though the price has increased by £100 this year with the you know combined improvements in the design, the additional discounts available to you on the purchase. Honestly, like the Z Flip 6 still feels like a really, really good deal. Although when you do compare it to, you know, a flagship S24 Ultra or even an iPhone 15 Pro, 
you do start to question the price you pay when choosing a foldable at nearly the same price. But what I don't regret, at least this year with the Z Flip 6, is that finally, like finally, it feels fun to use a phone again. Whether you're bored of the iPhone with its you know minor iterative year on year updates, or even the same with the S24 Ultra and expect to hear an iPhone lookalike S25 update, having a phone you can prop up to snap group photos or you know, Snapchat to end phone calls, and just being more comfortable to carry around with you day to day than the you know huge slabs of phones that they're all fast becoming makes all of the difference here. I think Samsung has really, really knocked it out of the park this year. And if you are on the fence on whether you should or, you know, should or should not buy one, give it a try because honestly, this year, I really, really don't think you're gonna be disappointed. Somewhere